airmail delivery lap. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Distant little penguin. Goodbye. A hard working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. Stay out, you freeloading fish napper! <laughs> ah, nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> and stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. Ah! I better employ my old fish flame splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo-wearing varmint. That's funny. It almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plum forgot to turn on the autopilot. Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter.
Baby, you top, and the blows, the will rock, when the river the river will fall, and I will go baby and cradle the Well, that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. It's the cradle we'll fall, and down we'll come be cradle and home. Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? All righty. Rock a baby in a treetop. Hold it where you are. There ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. <laughs> what style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Nowhere to take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. You know, you don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. Less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's gonna chill in the cooler for a long while. This here's what we in the business call a hot pursuit. Ah! They don't get any hotter than this. Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. 